My name is Graham, and I'm going to be telling you the story of the lion and the mouse. Knock, knock, knock. My mom proclaims it's my grandfather. I jump up, but my mom says loudly to stay upstairs because I'm sick. My mom opens the door, and he walks in. I can hear him coming up the stairs. He walks into my room and he says, I hear you are sick. I nod my head and he looks around and then he says to me, Hey, Mark, do you know the story of the lion and the mouse? I shook my head. No. He said to me, okay, then let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, a lion was sleeping in his comfortable lair when a little mouse, not knowing where he was going, ran over the mighty beast nose and awoken him. The lion lifted his paw and clamped it upon the mouse. Uh, clamped it upon the mouse and was about to make an end of him for waking him up when the poor mouse said in a high pitched tone, please don't, <laughs> please don't, uh, please let me go for those who show kindness to me shall receive kindness back. And with doubt that the mouse would go about his promise the lion started to release his horrible grip from the mouse. He smiled and let his frightened prisoner go. One day the lion was starving, so he walked out of his lair and started toward the watering hole, where he found a herd of antelope. He stalked them. He was just 20 feet away when he saw when the antelope saw him. The chase was on, running as fast as he could closing the distance 15 feet, 10 feet, five feet. Then he ran into a trap from a group of hunters, helplessly, helplessly watching as the antelope ran out of sight. Wait, uh, he helplessly watched as the antelope ran out of sight. Finding himself entangled without hope of escape, he set out a roar that filled the, that filled the whole forest with its echo and every animal ran and hid, except one. That one recognized the voice of the massive lion and ran full speed towards it. While running, an elephant told the creature to turn around and hide, but he ignored them. It took him an hour to get there and he did not stop running. At the, wait, uh, once he got there without any break, the mighty mouse set to work. Nibbling at the nibbling at the net that bound the lion. In little to no time, the mice had freed the lion. Not only did he free the lion, but he also helped the lion find more food. This display of kindness convinced the lion that uh, this display of kindness convinced the lion that lion that kindness should not be thrown away for there is no creature below another that can't return a good favor. When the grandfather had finished the story, he looked up and found Mark asleep. He got up, he got up, opened the door and walked down the stairs. He crept outside into his car and drove off.